We're in the Hangshin Financial District. This is going to be one of the, um, this is going to be immensely huge in the future. I'll tell you exactly why it's going to be as well. And we're going to walk to the waterfront so we can see the Macau side from this waterfront. I've seen it so often on the Macau side over here and I'm just so curious what's over here. Uh, we just kind of got over here at a, at a time when the sun is kind of going down, but hopefully we can get some more lighting like that. Um, this is, that's all Zhuhai. And this is this island called Hengqin. And we got some mountains up here, gas station. Got tons of really cool apartments there. We explored, we did six other videos today. This is gonna be number seven and our last one of the day. So, um, but we did a lot of stuff over on that side, including over by the University of Macau, um, which is also Hengqin. But this one, we're gonna go down that way. So, um, so stay tuned. And we're starting at the ICC. So let's check it all out. Check it out, Macau 2023. Check out some more streets. Okay, so there's the ICC. We'll just kind of capture this because in a minute we won't see any of this. I do want to check out all that stuff too. That'll be another video. So this is video number seven of the first trip that I've been able to go to in Hengqin since COVID ended. And um, we're gonna walk directly to the waterfront and kind of see what we can see. And I guess we have a road here. So later I'll try to identify that road. That, all those apartments there, those those are really old, which is kind of weird because I've been in Hengqin all afternoon and um, almost everything is like new. Those beautiful buildings like that, those beautiful buildings all the way down is all new. Those look really new. There's still cranes on them. This is all new. These are all new. That's old. <laughs> that has been there forever. And that used to be the road that I used to walk down, this kind of uh, dilapidated, dirty road that would go to Macau. And there was a hotel right on the side. I'm gonna film that road on, on, another, on, on another video. So just keep watching for those. And we're just gonna walk directly down to the waterfront and try to catch what, whatever we can catch. And yeah, these buildings, I see them at nighttime all the time from Macau. So I'm pretty excited just to kind of see what we're gonna see and there's still lots of cranes so lots of stuff is still being built um this is all quite not quite like very new um i still see cranes everywhere like up in there too right and then that's the only old side over there so let me just so we can see more buildings being constructed on that side as well okay this looks like a little quiet stretch so i'm going to turn the you can still see some kind of cool stuff everywhere though. It's like construction, <laughs> construction workers. And that's all under construction too. So that's kind of the theme, like from Macau side, it just looks like one big construction pit. So anyways, I'm gonna save the battery a little bit and I'm gonna jump up over there. So stay tuned. Just when I turn it off, there's like this little thing that says like library. Looks like a, I don't know. Kind of interesting stuff. I don't know if that's all of Hengqin or that's going to be like right there. And I think I saw some pictures of this one down by the port as well. So that might be, um, it looks like Guangzhou though. It doesn't look like, uh, it could be, it could be Hengqin. I don't know. I, I'm not familiar enough with Hengqin, but that actually that could be, I, I, I don't know. It's still, this whole area is still kind of being new. That's Zhuhai. That looks like it's part of Guangdong. I mean, that could be in Zhuhai as well, but um, but Zhuhai is in Guangdong, so there you go. <laughs> that looks like Hengxin Port right there, so that's... Um, dang, I, I, I thought I was gonna... Um, that's on the uh, northern side. So, huh. actually, I thought I was going to... Um, that's all one big construction over there as well. So, anyways, I, I, I gotta get down there and save my battery, so... Actually, one of my friends is just showing me that picture. But anyways, we kind of basically came down most of that. Um, so someday there'll be something more here. And I guess this is the Zhuhai Library. It's probably all standing buildings. Um, but anyways, we're coming into the financial district now. And yeah, you can still see a lot of cranes, a lot of stuff that's still being constructed. And, uh, and we're gonna just keep on walking all the way down to the waterfront, which is not too far away from here. Hello. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so let me see. So it looks like 
Uh, let me see. So it looks like there's all kinds of stuff in here. Um, lots of construction still as well. So we're just going to keep walking all the way to the waterfront though. <laughs> Hello, how are you? So okay, looks like there's part of the port over there. And we, I want to get to that waterfront and just kind of see. So we'll label the street, whatever the street is. And um, I'll just keep on walking. And I'm pretty curious about this one because this one we see from everywhere in Macau. This big yellow kind of tree formation thing. <laughs> Those two guys look like they're, uh, they're, they're... Actually, when I'm in the mainland of China as a foreigner, you know, a lot of people, they come from those small towns and they, and they go all over the place. They look like kind of construction worker guys. And so they were kind of like looking at me. <laughs> at least I thought that way in my head anyways. And uh, so I was just like, hey, how are you? Because it's like, you know, you're staring at me, so I should acknowledge you. But they were quite friendly, right? They're like, how are you? <laughs> and, uh, but usually they are. Usually they're, usually they're quite friendly anyways. Um, I mean, you could have a negative encounter, but, but generally human beings to other human beings are generally good people. Okay, so this is all pretty quiet. But it'd be, it'd be interesting to know if there's actually more life here on other days. I'm actually here on a Sunday on Easter holiday. And um, looks like there are some banks and things like that around here. So I think those bankings might be set up for the future. So they're probably, you know, claiming their spots because this is going to be a giant financial center. So this is basically going to be um, huge, <laughs> to say the least. So, um, so this is going to be catering towards the Portuguese world and the Latin world. The Portuguese speaking country, Latin, they basically say the Latin world, which means predominantly Portuguese and Spanish. So South America, Europe, lots of Africa, there's a lot of Portuguese African countries, Mozambique, Angola, Cape Verde, um, um, Sao Tome, some other ones as well. And then of course Brazil is huge in South America. So they're gearing themselves up to bring in that money from the Latin speaking countries and kind of mix it in with the um, matakas, which is an international currency that moves more freely than um, and also Hong Kong dollar would be used here too. So you have Hong Kong dollar, um, Macau patakas, Chinese Yuan. So it's kind of a way for the Chinese Yuan to circulate more. And um, yeah, it looks like, looks like there's security everywhere in here. But there's some walk, walkways up in here and that's that one we can see everywhere in Macau. So I'm gonna keep on walking all the way down to the front, down to the end, to the waterfront. We'll see what we can see. It's kind of like, feels like there's nothing there but which is kind of true but on the other hand there's like if I turn the camera off like now I'm starting to see this gold stuff here some of the lighting so I think I don't even know if people live here but I think they light it up for the Macau side and yeah anyways these things are, are still being fully constructed so I'm basically documenting what the street looks like in 2023 and then of course at another time in the future, it'll be um, fully realized, full on. But since, you know, I used to live in New York and I used to live near the financial district and the financial district was always kind of quiet at night. So I wonder what this would be like in the future, if it would be, there's also a Pudong in Shanghai, which um, is also kind of a financial center as well, right? So, huh. so now we can kind of see I want to climb up there and film, but on the other hand, I want to keep going straight while I have my battery light. But I think I walked up. There's like these little things that look like Macau stuff. We'll see it from from down over here, anyways. So we'll just keep our focus. Can't wait to see that waterfront. Uh, Got to save the battery because I should probably just do a whole waterfront video because I think that'll be like super dope. Super cool. If I can even walk on the waterfront, I don't know if we're allowed to or not. It looks like private property right there. It looks like we really cannot really walk over there. Oh, you know what? They probably keep it a little bit private. Um, anyways, that was that street. We're gonna end that street right there. 
I'm gonna just do that waterfront and just see what we can see and I'll just walk down the other way. So that was our focus straight and we kind of was able to see a little bit of this, which you can see everywhere in Macau. It's called the Phoenix Tree Building. Pretty cool spot. And um, yeah, we'll label this accordingly. And you got a little slice of Macau anyways. Peace out. Phoenix Tree Building. Hey, check it out Macau 2023. Check out some more streets. Oh, my boy, lost the